Today, we've got a, a well that's out and I believe they've got a bad pump. Or bad wiring. We got power that's coming to the wellhead. Um, I've already taken that apart, but um, I got power to the wellhead. I checked that, the power is off, turn the power off. But with it on, I had, I had power out here and nothing's turning. Um, so we're gonna pull this well, um, pump out of the well and see what we got. Either some bad wires or bad pump. Oh, I hope it's just wires. Okay. So this pump, this well is 120 feet deep. Um, and I know we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna run it out. It's hard to see through the trees, but we're gonna run it out there to where that fertilizer spreader is. That's just about 120 feet. <gasps> So oh. that'll give us an idea when we we're about all the way up. Oh wow! Um, it's a two-man job. First, um, a union. So you disconnect the union, and then these four nuts here pull this rubber grommet. So if you back them off, it it expands the grommet into the well casing. So if you back these off, the grommet gets smaller and then you can lift this out. Oh. Now, with 120 feet, I'm going to get tired pulling this up. So I rigged up this mechanism and hopefully we can show you how it's going to work. But when I get to where I need a break, we'll clamp that on, around the pipe. It's got a one inch pipe we'll clamp it around the pipe and um, then I'll be able to take a break and then come back to pulling more up so we're gonna pull this up to 120 feet it um, gets pretty heavy we may need to stop and rest so we rigged up this little tool to clamp it if we need to rest show you how that works. Okay, put that on there, align the slope. I made a little bit of a slot for the, like that. Yeah, for the wires so we're not clamping the wires. Well, you got a use for the hinge, honey, that's been laying around for years. That's why I kept it. <laughs> okay, so, the, uh, we're just gonna have to start pulling this up. One guy buries the, um, the wellhead here out into the yard. The other one pulls it up. So that'd be... Which one's harder? <laughs> uh, pulling it up is harder, so I'll start there and then you can finish. Grayley went out to check the distance. Oh, there it goes. Grayley, way down in there is where we get our water from. It comes through up through the pipe. Is it stuck? Oh, really? Is that an angle? Hello, down there. So I've talked to my buddy Lee and he said uh, that the, the pump goes down beyond the casing. Sometimes it gets stuck coming up, hitting the bottom of the casing. He says, just 
just wiggle it a little bit. Just wiggle a little bit. It'll come through. So he <laughs> said, try that. I said, I'll try that. He says, try that and call me back. So we're going to try it. And you can trust this person? And that, it's about the same diameter as that casing. Is that, you just got to get it just right? That's what I'm hoping. You're not doing it right. You're, you're wiggling it. You got to wiggle it. <laughs> you got to wiggle it. What's wiggle it? Huh? What's wiggle it? What's wiggle it? means wiggle. What's wiggle? What's wiggle mean? It means wiggle, whatever it's called. Well, no, what's wiggle mean? Tell me a wiggle. Do a wiggle. Yeah, that's right. Well. You hear that suction sound down there? It sounds like a drum. How can I fit in? Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> Bring it back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Is that everything? Yeah, so the wires were pulling it up. Yeah, yeah, just it's those wires that broke. Yeah, I remember Josh saying um, he had to go to PVC to get the right adapter. Where are the wires broke? The, um, no, it broke right here. No, it broke here. Um, I think the pump was still working. Yeah. Um, it just, um, oh. but I, we can check that.
What's that right there? This is where we were hitting the sand, the pipe. Oh, <laughs> that's PVC. Yeah, that's it's not like no, that's chunks of. Well, it's kind of. Take a left down the bottom of the hill. Oh. Yeah. David called Lee the whale guy because we he wanted to be sure about the fittings before he put the pump back in. But the pump is 15 years old, so he's thinking about replacing the pump anyway. So the well guy is on his way, but he did not want to be videoed. So, so when Lee got uh, arrived, he had a three quarter horsepower pump with him, and we decided to go ahead and to buy that pump and put that pump in. His pump uh, was a stainless steel pump, a little better quality than the one that came out, and it had a built in check valve. So uh, he had a stainless steel adapter that went from the pump straight to the black poly pipe. And we didn't have to have any of the plastic PVC adapters uh, with the check valve. So we got the new pump in and everything's buttoned back up and um, uh, all the electricity's turned back on, all the connections made. And um, the water is now flowing. But what we're going to do now is sterilize the well since it's been opened and uh, use some pool shock and pre-dissolve it in some water in the, in the um, one-gallon jug. About two tablespoons of, of pool shock to a couple gallons of water. Put it in the well. Let it sit um, in the well for... Uh, a period of time, 15 minutes, a half an hour, then run the water in the, the house, the, the, the farthest faucet from the well in the house until you smell the chlorine water coming out. Let it sit in the in pipes the in the house for a couple yeah. hours and then you can flush it out. After we get it in the well here, we want to let it sit in the well, maybe an hour, I would say at least, um, and kill anything in the well. Well, actually what you want to do is sit in the well and then we'll go in and turn on the water in like the farthest spigot throughout the whole house, the plumbing, or open up several of them. So it gets all the way through, and then when you smell the chlorine coming out of that that faucet, you know you got the chlorinated water everywhere. And then you just let it sit in the house for a couple hours or so. And then after that, then you just open it until, and just let it run until the uh, smell goes away. It'll flush it all out. Just let one faucet run or all of them? Uh, you'll have to... You can do one main one, but you'll have to do all of them. But you can do one to get it all out of the well. Once you get it all out of the well, and then you'll have to open all of them to get it out of the pipes going to the individual faucets. Why is that little thing is this so tall? Oh, well, it's a vent. Oh, so there's a whole lot And so of them. they just, they cut some slots in it oh. to uh, let it vent, but not, not to where it would get stuff or bugs or anything down in there. Is that it? So that's it. <laughs> Hopefully we're back in water and we can be taking a shower soon. <laughs>